and more powerful. Uh, what you do is if you're playing a major chord, anything that has the character of a major, then on your left hand you want to play your keynote, which is the actual name of the major chord. So if it's, if it's a D flat major, your keynote is D flat. If it's an F major chord, your keynote is F, right? So, uh, or whatever the title of your chord is, that's the keynote, okay? So, say our, our one chord, which is the D flat major. If you're playing anything with major, you can always go one, five, so one, A flat, and you can do the octave one. I always do that. Or if you're playing something with a major seventh in it, you can go one, five, seven, see, and then and play your chord. And you can arpeggiate it, or you can go up a little bit so it sounds more, you know, uh, beautiful. You can do it like that. Uh, but if you're playing more a major chord and it doesn't have a seventh in it, then you don't want to add the seventh on your left. So you just go, you know. And then if you're playing anything that's dominant or anything that's minor, like dominant seven or minor seven, something like that, then you play the one, five, flat seven. See? That might be an example. Or, or remember when we were, I was telling you about that um, D flat nine, which is dominant, of course. Add six, that's when you can go B flat, A flat, D natural, see? Because it's not a major chord. As long as it's not a major chord, then you get that. So I was reminded of that when I was playing, you know.